it could work. The guy obviously has lots of money. He makes decent money with whatever job he has, I mean, like 20 grand a year, which is, I mean, you could live a pool. But the irony is this guy doesn't get off his ass and actually treat himself. He just ends up squandering, or he ends up, he ends up wasting this money for completely pointless things like buying an Atari 2600, or um, he smokes, he doesn't even bother to buy a fucking ashtray. He, he sits there and he, like, smokes cigarettes into a glass. One who just, like, you know, goes to bars alone. Uh, I don't know. I need to rent The Graduate. I want to see what that said about this, this type of uh, scenario. He's deliberately cruel to other human beings because he's just resentful of them. He's resentful of couples who walk hand in hand in the street. He's jealous of them uh, because he can't seem to find any. He goes, he sinks into like a whole depression. He doesn't know where the fuck to go from there. And he ends up just going into weird Americana situations. Ironically, at his job, he's a workaholic, but on his off time, he doesn't know anything other than work. Uh, it's a common theme throughout my f fucking service society all over again, but who cares? It's what I know. You gotta write about what you know. He rides the bus, a woman on the bus is giving out, you know, I work at Starbucks and I'm giving out all these fucking delicacies and everything, these muffins. And so, he never, and, but the thing is, this woman, who he actually is kind of attracted to sexually, uh, he... He kind of is pissed off at her. For one, he hasn't offered anything to her. And for another thing, he says, you know, if you're giving out fucking muffins to just total strangers in the bus, you might as well just go out to the fucking homeless and give them, give them out, you know? Um, so he, he, he takes these muffins, uh, he, uh, basically, and he just goes in a long tirade about how you could be giving these muffins out to the homeless. Tries to reach out to a bartender. And the bartender gives him the cold shoulder and is just only concerned with him getting drinks. He just, all he wants is a simple high or a simple acknowledgement. Ultimately, he's selfish because he's, he doesn't have any confidence in himself. Endless days sitting with a guitar. He strums songs that are just completely stupid and pointless. And he gets fed up with the guitar and then he just sits down and he smokes another cigarette. Um, he lives a wasteful existence, ultimately. He resorts to substances and drugs and such. Uh... But there's got to be more. I mean, I don't want to just, like, you know, there's got to be a point made here. Because this is just, uh, it's an interesting idea. It could have a lot of commercial appeal. It could make money if it's done right, particularly with a fast-paced type of ending. But it's going to have to, uh, it's going to have to have some kind of point. The point being, I suppose, that the world that we live in, the society that we live in, you know, all we are our servants, and really the way to society is today, people are not as personal as, them, as they are, as they could be. Uh, he goes to another tirade about voicemail, perhaps. Voicemail, faxes, and how we always are talking to a machine, but not to an actual human being. And he really resents that fact. He really resents the fact that he has to purchase a new computer to keep up with the times. He really resents the fact that that he has to just submit to the cold, the coldness of technology and how people are just generally cold. He resents the fact that you know, the moronic masses, in a sense. In a sense, he's in the leaders, but at the same time, he sees potential in, in, in the people. And he buys cigarettes. He doesn't even like them, but he just does it because he needs something to pass the time with. He doesn't want to just fucking sit there restless and realize that he's doing nothing or that he, he has no purpose in society. Towards the 30 minutes into the film, we see him give it, getting in giving in to materialism, uh, watching people who are obsessed about purchasing you know, Harley Davidson motorcycles riding around the country, purchasing the most pointless crap whatsoever. You know, things that just really don't need to be purchased. Uh, you know, uh, just just because they want to find some kind of artificial happiness. And he starts to realize that oh fuck, this is not a life to lead. Uh, the life he leads is, is talking to people. I don't know. Um, and he, above all, he wants a woman. And not just as a sex object, a woman meaning a relationship, meaning someone who, who will be there, uh, but, but he can't seem to find it because no one will really want to talk to him because he's so negative, he's so pessimistic. Uh, he doesn't, he's really resentful.